everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we are looking at a smile maker. Why is it a smile maker? Because those of you that grew up during this time were in the fields of a farm party, a field party. This was in high school. This was so much fun. You know, today we throw around the term tailgating, right? We have, let's have a tailgater. Let's have a, a pregame, right? Tailgating started right here, right now in the pickup truck world. And when you get trucks like this that are restored, have great bodies like this step side right here. Why is it called a step side? We'll look at that as well. Anyway, I don't know, man. I just makes me smile when I see them because they're just great looking. They're just like, remind me of a time I remember when. All right, so I get it all the time. People say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking vehicle or a great looking truck, great looking car, whatever. But we don't always know why it's a great looking vehicle. So let's take a minute here and look. First off, this is beautiful paint. It's actually way nicer, way nicer than the factory painted it. However, uh, I think it's worth it, right? Then you have this great looking wheel and tire combination. I love the factory wheels on this truck. They look so good still to this day. BFGs, all-terrain TAs. It's a nice off-road tire, but you can still drive it on the highway. It's not too loud. Then we have the step side of the truck. It gives it a completely different look than a slab side pickup. That's one of the things people love about these and why sometimes they have more value. Um, you can use this if you want. You don't have to, that's up to you. Uh, you might even say, uh, put a little bit piece of clear bra on here, right? So that if you do decide to use that as a step, it's painted so nicely, right? That you might uh, keep it from getting scratched. All right, so come on up here. So we have all new chrome, stainless grill, color matched in here, right? This is great looking. We call this a square headlight truck, right? 80s vintage Chevrolet trucks and square headlights. And lastly, what we need to look at is the quality of the paint. It is significantly nicer than, than the factory. And I wanted you to come up here and see this. Anytime you can read all the letters in there, nice and crisp, that's what you wanna be able to do. You wanna see each letter crisp, red, legible, not just pictures of the letters, but really crisp. The crisper the letter is, the better the quality is the paint. There's no mistaking uh, a Chevrolet pickup for anything else. Look at the back of this thing. First off, when you get to step side, you get this right here because they have come with the arches here. They needed a place to put the taillights, right? And so you just tell, this right here is painted so nicely with a Chevrolet done in white, and then it's all clear coated. So you can barely even feel uh, the paint that's on there. And then the real deal comes to this. This is the original, original tailgater, right? pickup truck hanging out with your friends a couple seats in here on July 4th right some chairs in there the family and the kids hanging out in there and your cool 80s vintage four-wheel drive pickup this is what I'm talking about how great is it that these right here are already restored for you you can enjoy it with the family enjoy it with some time some friends whatever take it to the beach and watch these continue to go up in value each and every year they're iconic and you know what they are they're the number one thing that says I remember when People buy these all the time because I remember riding around with my grandfather, riding around with some friends. We were in a field party. Those were the best of the days. And here's a chance to relive that all over again. And here, all nicely detailed bed, uh, all done in uh, the Rhino coating. So it's actually functional as well. So you can put some chairs in here. And if you wanted to, we could also replace these strips with stainless strips if you wanted to dress it up just a tiny bit. These are metal strips that hold the, uh, uh, the bed together right there. So we can always replace those if you wanted to. All right, we're going inside. Why are we going inside? Because you and your best girl or you and your best buddies all piled in here. Uh, I'm not saying you were all liquored up or anything like that because we would never condone drinking and driving, but maybe you were in a field and you were just parked and that's the drinking there. And then maybe you came back and got it the next day. But anyway, this all brand new stuff, man. All new floors, uh, seats, foams in the seats. All this is painted nicely. Sliding rear window in here. The dash pad's all new. This is a cup holder that goes in the ashtray. You don't have to have it in there if you don't want. It comes out and then you can eliminate that if you like it. That's kind of up to you if you like it. Four wheel drive selector right there. This right here, super nice, granny gear. This has this cool, I'm talking cool, cause you'll remember when, in here is an 80s vintage, right? Built-in equalizer, cassette stereo, right? Circa uh, Prince playing in the background or maybe Motley Crue or a little bit of, uh, a little bit of country on there. And all this is nice and tight. I'm, doing this for you so you can hear like nothing's left loose and old in here it's just a beautifully restored truck new rear mirror 
new visors and clips and like these uh, vent windows, right? This is a perfect time to take up smoking. Smoking is coming back and it's so cool now to do. I'm just kidding, I'm not suggesting you do that, but here, look. And it goes right out the window. Huh? How you doing? All right, so we're gonna take a look under the hood here. You know what, you may never open the hood for any reason other than to check the oil or whatever, or you may go to a car show, or you may have a friend want to look underneath here. When you, when you do a restored vehicle, if you don't finish in here, that's a shortcut. Here, no shortcut. Let me show you some things. The shocks you can see, bright yellow down there. The frame is painted satin black like it's supposed to from the factory. Uh, the Chevy orange on the engine like it's supposed to, brand new carburetor. Uh, air cleaner, right? All the decals are in place. This is actually significantly nicer than it came from the factory during its time because somebody spent the time to, to make it even nicer. But it has some things that we forget to ask about. For instance, it has power steering, right? That was an option. It has power disc brakes. That was an option, right? And here you're getting some stuff. It's nicely detailed. All the stuff's ready to roll and you can have just a great, great time. You might even go to a car show, a cars and coffee with this. Everyone will come over and tell you the story. I remember when, I remember when, I remember when. All right, so we're gonna close up the video here. Look, I'm suggesting you look underneath this truck first before you even look at the top, because the top is spectacular. The underneath is just as nice. Everything's all done under there. It looks great. Uh, it's detailed. And here we have a great step side look and pickup and a cool color combination, right? And then you throw in things like, uh, I like the four wheel drive and I like the manual transmission because, you know, today's modern cars are all automatics. Your SUV, your, you know, your minivan, your whatever it is you got to drive, you throw it in drive and you go to work and you make your calls here. It's a different experience, man. And it's a party with your friends or your best girl or whatever. It's another time. It is a great, great vehicle just to enjoy something from the past you would drive this to work you would drive this to work call whoever it is that you're on the way home right shut the phone off no tweeting no twitter feed no uh social media facebook email text messaging nothing put on some tunes and wheel on home on a friday night it'll change your life and anyway, call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this uh, amazing pickup don't forget to uh like the video if you would please right below there and share it with some friends also, subscribe to the channel. I think you'll find there's some great content coming your way. All right, here we are. Let's get in this test drive because this right here is serious four-wheel drive power. So in a truck like this, when you're talking about four-wheel drive and uh, power and real stuff, right? First off, this is beautifully restored. Secondly, this has uh, a four-speed transmission, but it has a low granny gear, first gear, which is kind of cool, but you can start out in second gear because it makes so much power, right? It's super easy. You got power steering too and power disc brakes, which makes for driving really nice. All right, so let's get this thing rolling. You know, when you get a four-speed like this with a low first gear, you don't even need to put it in unless you're really in deep mud or maybe doing some trailer towing or something like that. This is a this is a serious vehicle for four wheel drive or for towing, like I mentioned before. What's so great about it, though, man, is it's circa 1984. It drives really nice still because it's got a nice footprint on the tires, right? Comfortable inside. You can put uh, an extra seatbelt in here and actually seat four people. Maybe take your kids for a ride in this. You go fishing. Uh, it's got a tack built in over here. And a couple cool small features, like it's got great gauges because it's got lots of gauges in it, which is nice factory gauges. But it's got this great stereo in a circa like 1980s with the graphic equalizer built in. I'm looking at it, it's making me smile thinking about like high school, right? Uh, and have, maybe having a cool old stereo like that before CDs came out, and streaming audio and what have you. I don't know, this seems kind of nice. Anyway, back to my point, you know, you can throw it in four wheel drive, you can just drive it uh, in two wheel drive. But right now we're on windy back roads and this thing, I'm driving, look, two fingers right just you can just drive however you want and it just makes so much power give it a little goose yeah how you doing how you doing how you doing uh-huh i'm smiling because it's a smile maker man this is what these things do to you takes you back to a different time turn off my cell phone no facebook no twitter no social media feed at all my boss can't call me plus he's an a-hole anyway and I'm just riding, me and my truck, relaxing, thinking about what kind of music I'm gonna put on today. 
All right, well, thanks so much for driving with us, and I will see you uh, on the next drive.